I uh, just wanted to touch on a couple of tips that I uh, learned when playing around with the Mega Squirt Plug and Play 2 system. Um, obviously, I've had this car professionally tuned. It's been on the dyno a couple of times, but um, there is a lot to be left over to desire in the tune, I would say. Um, I know the tuners cost a lot of money per hour, and uh, they generally don't spend you know that much time on the customer's cars. Not to say my tune was bad, but um, like I said, there's a lot left to be desired for your tune. And, you know, the people who have really good tunes spend a lot of time tinkering with them. So it's good for you to have um, a good understanding of uh, the software so you can play with it yourself and make some corrections yourself. So the first thing that really helped me out, and I read this online, was I know a lot of people have problems with hot starts. If you go to your MAT air density table, I just have this under 100% correction all the way across, and that helped a lot with hot starts. For some reason, that helped with um, idle as well. That I smoothed the idle out, and it smoothed, um, like when I'm cruising, it smoothed the um, air fuel ratio out when cruising. Now, I'd like to say also, I'm definitely not a professional tuner, and I'm just learning a lot of this myself, but I hope some of this um, can help you guys out too. So another thing that I learned that I was having problems with was the car got got uh, tuned for 12 PSI, and when I went in here, my maximum KPA was set at 180. So when I upgraded my springs and my wastegate and I was trying to hit 15 PSI, I was getting spark cut because my maximum boost KPA was cutting cutting boost. So always make sure that you have a good understanding of boost to KPA and what your target boost is and then set this a little bit higher than what your target boost is and that'll protect you as well. Okay, another thing that I learned was I know a lot of people have problems uh, starting up from cold starts, especially when the weather is cooling down like it is now. So what I've done is come into warm up enrichment and when I get into the car in the morning, it's see, oh hang on, what the heck. When I get into the car in the morning, basically this green right here, this is where the coolant temperature is right now. So this is the window that you're operating in right now. Um, when I get in the car in the morning, it's usually in either this window or this window because it's starting to cool down. So what you want to do is when you come out and start the car in the morning, you start it. And if it's, and you watch your uh, air fuel ratio, if you're running lean, you want to add fuel. So what you do is come over to these values over here, and I just went up by 10, down by 10, depending. And then when you get it uh, to where you want it, you can go up by up by five, down by five, or however much that you need, and just keep an eye on your air fuels. It this green table will cycle down, down, down as the car warms up, and then so you just go through and make corrections accordingly. So that really helped me a lot, and I'm super satisfied with that. And then the other thing I've done was. In my coolant base rev limit, I uh, did a Mishimoto, um, I think it was a 160 degree thermostat. Anyway, I'm not sure if it was 160 or 180, but the car never really gets that hot. Even in the summer, it doesn't heat up that much. Uh, I'd say maximum, it's probably heating up around 180, 190 sitting in traffic. So uh, one thing I noticed was over here, this is, I have it all corrected now, but um, at 160 it was only giving me uh, 6,000 RPMs and that's where the tuner had it set to protect me. Um, all I know is it was hitting it was hitting spark cut um, based on the coolant coolant based rev limit so you always keep an eye on that set it to where you want it. I have my rev limit set to 7,000 that's 200 RPM below um, the factory RPM limit. I like to just keep it there because that's uh, always worked well for me, and it just kind of protects you a little bit. I don't know, just a peace of mind kind of thing. But uh, yeah, I mean, it's worked out great for me so far. Um, I've had 
it's it's been a learning curve trying to play with this program but um it's starting to become really enjoyable now that i know what to look for and yeah so i hope some of that stuff um helps you guys out but uh I'll uh, I'll just keep continuing to learn about this program and then uploading videos and hopefully somewhere along the way uh, I can answer some questions. You can uh, any questions you have, leave them in the comments and then subscribe for more videos. Thanks for watching.